Hey guys, it's the Mayhem Minute, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please go on there, find all your links for audio, video versions of all the shows, and subscribe to any of them, and please converse with us there in at Mayhem Show on the Twitter as well. Yeah, all kinds of linky links over there for stuff. Raw wrap-up, Total Divas wrap-up, uh, just fresh online last night. Monday night. This is Tuesday, and it's post-Raw Day, and we have some answers. Last week, we talked about AJ Lee's response to Stephanie McMahon. We talked about uh, the women, and, 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 and Give Divas a Chance was a big topic on the Wrestling Mayhem show last week. Um, and, of course, this week, we're looking at Monday Night Raw, and AJ Lee comes back. Isn't that interesting? We've had so much stuff play out on Twitter, and I thought it was uh, being interesting uh, to look at the idea. You know, we used to look back in the Attitude Era where Monday Night Raw was unpredictable. You never knew what was going to happen. We were very much on the, you know, looking backstage, is this real? Um, To kind of paraphrase a lot of the buzzwords you hear about the Attitude Era and the Monday Night Wars, Monday Nitro, Monday Night Raw. And I feel like I started thinking about this, you know, with what we've had with uh, maybe the Bellas going out and doing stuff. You know, we've had these tweets from Darren Young. We've had these tweets from AJ Lee. Um, and at least in the case of the women's division stuff, I think you're having this inter- interesting place where Triple H just a few weeks ago on the Stone Cold podcast on WWE Network said how kayfabe is dead. It's more about social media, and it's more about all of that is now the storyline. Isn't that an interesting hint? And then last week we have this with AJ Lee coming back on Stephanie McMahon. Give Divas a chance. Uh, use your voice, which, by the way, was sponsored by Cricket this week on Monday Night Raw to use the hashtag. Isn't that a curious turn of events? Then we have AJ Lee come out. We have a longer Divas match. We have a great Divas. Hell, we have a great Raw last night. That was amazing. I hope they're half as good when they come here to Pittsburgh next week. I don't even give a crap about Wiz Khalifa. Oh, I'm going to get burned at the stake in Pittsburgh. We'll make a note to edit. Um, But it seems that Twitter is the place where we're not sure if stuff's real anymore. We've uh, railed on the show against, and I have personally, about people just using social media and not knowing what the hell they're getting into, especially people as popular as... Matt Hardy, other wrestlers, Tensai saying really racist things about his Asian buddy. Um, But then we have this thing where comments like this can come out, and a comment response. And then, what's our automatic reaction? If we see it on Twitter, I think mostly we think it's real, because we see a lot of backstage stuff, we see a lot of these guys traveling. Um, But now we're going to blur the lines a little bit, I think. Maybe uh, maybe it was real. Honestly, we still don't. Technically, no. They haven't really addressed it on, on, on the show. Hell, on the show, how much are they addressing the internet people, you know? And the reactions to internet people on the boards. Guys like me, I guess. Um, but then you look at, you know, now we're analyzing tweets. Tweets are now news. I'm looking at sites like WrestleZone.com, one of my favorite news sources. Hi, Justin Labar. Hey. Um, and... We analyze these tweets now. It's become the news. Sources in backstage have the feeling that such and such is in the doghouse. You know, now we have a tweet to say that. Now we have a tweet, an unmetered, you know, we think un, um, you know, unscheduled tweet from people to, you know, they could be sitting in the locker room snickering at each other going back and forth. We've seen other stuff like that happen. We've seen other feuds on Twitter happen, uh, especially between divas. They're getting it, right? Um, And I think that's our new kind of open-ended, you know, is this real work shoot, I guess, is a term we can throw around a little bit, um, or just work, you know. Um, These people do depict characters in a very funny world where their job is to trick us into believing and if using twitter becomes a way to trick us into believing that what we're seeing is real even though we're all in on the joke these days i know it's a lot harder but there's a lot of people saying oh sick bird you know when some of those tweets were going back and forth last week i think that's really intriguing i think it's a very smart use of it indies take note for instance um and uh, and I think we're, we 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 we've added another layer, another onion layer on top of what pro wrestling is doing right now in storylines and getting us interested. And damn it, they got us interested this week. I think.
Let me know what you think. Is Twitter the new Attitude Era? That's a bad way to phrase that, but that's the best I got right now. Is Twitter the new way for us to get tricked? Is it to make us believe in professional wrestling again? By the way, congratulations, Lunda Blaze, on that one. Medusa. Good to see another girl getting in there. Fantastic. Let us know what you think at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, YouTube, youtube.com slash wrestling mayhem show. You can find this and other videos there, and they're all tidy ish uh, playlists, and everything's at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Subscribe to the audio version of this show and so many other things that we're doing around here. Check out Wrestling Mayhem Show, 9 p.m. Tuesday nights, Eastern Time at live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com, and you can bug us in the chat room and tell us how wrong we are as wrestling fans yourself. See you then. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.